What is up everybody out there in Heroclix land? This once again is Scott Porter back with a brand new unboxing series. This time for Marvel's Heroclix Earth X. Boom. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, it is, I know Christmas has come and gone, but it is like Christmas all over again for Heroclix fans out there in the world because we do have a brand new set. Dun, dun, dun. Whoop. There it is. Earth X in all of its glory. Uh, man, I am so excited. Uh, this, from what I know, only covers Earth X, not Paradise X or Universe X, uh, the third and second books respectively there, uh, just Earth X. And you might be saying, how can a limited series like Earth X produce enough for an entire Hero Click set? Well, it produces more than enough for an entire Hero Click set. They could not, if they wanted to, cram all the amazing versions of all of the Marvel characters we know and love uh, from Alex Ross and Jim Kruger's version of them in Earth X. It is a almost biblical version of the Marvel Universe. And I say that not lightly. I have this tomb back here. Oh my goodness. Ah, I suggest you guys pick it up. If you haven't read it, you need to pick this up. You need to read Earth X. It is one of the greatest uh, retellings of the Marvel Universe that has ever been created. It is thick as all get out this particular version of it, but uh, it is worth the read. All right, well, that being said, Let's get right into what we have on the outside of our brick. It looks like we got Cap, and we've got uh, Daredevil down there uh, with Captain America. That's pretty cool. On the side of the box here, let's see. We've got, oh, the Spider-Man family might be a little sub-theme in this set. And, uh, oh, and all of the arachnids of Earth-X. You see Spider's man there. You see the old pudgy Spider-Man. Uh, shout out to Greg Miller. Shirtless Spider-Man, if you're out there listening, buddy. Um, <laughs> we've got, ooh, Venom. Uh, that's the Venom version of Mae Parker there. That's pretty cool. Uh, on the other side, we have Earth-X. you got Captain America. you got the Skull. You've got Black Panther. You've also got, oh, the Inhumans, who play a huge role in Earth-X. Now, in Earth-X, we could have anything in this set. I mean, you're talking from the very beginning of the Marvel Universe, of the human race within the Marvel Universe. You've got the Celestials, you've got the Deviants, you've got the Eternals, you've got all of the, the gods, whether they be the Asgardians or any other belief, really, of all of these people uh, in the beginnings, the very early seeds of the Marvel Universe. Uh, I'm incredibly excited to see what we have. And then, of course, all of the different versions of the modern day characters. As we enter this, I think the 20th anniversary of Earth X. So, uh, without further ado, let's just, uh, get cracking. Now, Marvel, uh, Hero Clicks actually sent me a, the starter kit and the token pack. So I'm going to open those things first before we crack into the brick and, uh, start looking at some of these boosters. So let's see what goodies they sent me in the starter. Hmm. All right. I'm just going to rip this thing open after I give you guys a little close-up of it here let's see we've got uh it looks like let's see oh some uh skull action spiders man green goblin uh peter parker king britain uh he comes in late in the story but he is incredible uh, he's got all his uh union jack army and uh black panther who for a great portion of the story you're thinking had something to do with uh with humanity's massive shift uh, what happens basically in Earth X is everybody on Earth gets powers, and then the old superheroes have to figure out how to deal with not being as special anymore and trying to figure out what happened to the Earth and how do they fix it. Uh, all right, well, let's get into the starter here. Got a new uh, rule book, new set of maps here. I always want to see what the maps are. Hmm. Ooh, we've got Wakanda on one side. And uh, it looks like, uh, let's see who's the other side. Eh, can't, I can't show you the whole thing. It's these, these maps are massive. Well, I guess I can. Here, let's, let's give it a shot, guys. Let's give it a shot. Oh, and by the way, we are at uh, Hyper RPG's brand new studios in, uh, in Studio City, California. I love it here. These, it, looks, it looks good. The new duds. I'm a big fan. We're the first people to shoot in here, so this is really cool. Okay, the side of the map you're looking at right now is, uh, let's see. There's no name on it. Oh, it must be the, uh, oh yeah, it's Stark Tower Indoor, and you can see uh, on there on the bottom, there's little bystander tokens of his uh, Avengers, the Iron Avengers. Uh, that's pretty rad. Oh man, I, I hope, I hope Steel Bow is in here. 
I really want Steel Bow. Basically, Tony Stark makes uh, robot versions of the Avengers who have perished at this point when you start reading Earth X. And he tries to uh, bring his friends back to life in the best way that he can. This is Wakanda on this side. So we got a brand new map. Very, very cool. All right. I'll throw that down there and play on it later. Uh, some new item tokens. I mean, some new uh, object tokens. Everybody needs more uh, light and heavy objects. Use those later. Uh, more terrain markers. The six cards for the characters in the starter. So we'll get into that. New rule book, new team and abilities packet. That's awesome. All right, let's see. Ah. And the tiniest dice you've ever seen. The tiniest dice you've ever seen. They're just in there for everybody to use. Uh, I'm going to crack these guys out. We're not going to spend too long at them. Uh, they are going to be different versions than you're going to find in the boosters themselves. So I'll just kind of pop them all up here. You can take a quick look at Panther, Spider, Osborne. He is President Osborne, by the way. King Britain, Spider-Man, and Spider's Man. There you go, a little close-up look at all the figures. They are very, very, very well done. I'm already digging the sculpts. I love, absolutely love this pudgy Spider-Man. He's gotten older, he's given up, he's trying to protect his daughter uh, in the storyline, and so that's really, he's Dad Spider-Man. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad Spider-Man. I love it. And you can see he's got that awesome little insignia on his back. That's really, really cool. Uh, let's take a look at these guys. Let's just take a quick look at what their powers are. Spider's Man is super interesting and enigmatic in the storyline. So uh, let's uh, take a look at his card real quick. We've got illusion casting through webs, plasticity, sidestep, and stealth. Unique modifier adjacent opposing characters modify their combat values by negative one for each action token on them. Very cool. There's the front and the back for you. He's got that special power all the way down his dial. We've got King Britain. Take a look at what he does. Crazy powerful in the book. Uh, Captain America goes to him for help. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much of Earth X. If you guys haven't read it, you have to read it. Uh, he's got a trait, free my teammates from their stony prisons. If opposing effect would cause a friendly character to be given an action token, roll a d6. On a, one, on a three to six, the friendly character does not get the action token. So in the book, he's dealing with the fact that all of his old Excalibur mates have been turned to stone. He is on a quest uh, dealing with across the multiverse like he usually does of trying to find a way to free his old friends from stone. There's a lot of tragedy in Earth-X. They're dealing with it on a lot of different levels. So that's, that's King Britain. We'll look at the back of his card really quick. Split dial there. The skull, this little brat. Uh, the skull is one of the big enemies uh, that Captain America is fighting against. He has a wide array of uh, mind control powers. When he was born, all the psychic uh, heroes in the world were, were killed by the psychic uh, lashback, the, the telepathic uh, kind of power that emitted. So there's no Jean Grey, there's no Professor X, there's no telepaths really. Uh, in Earth X, and uh, the skull is the big reason for that. He has a uh, special defense power. It says, my drones would give their life. He has mastermind and super senses. Now, this is just the base set, so we will get into the actual, uh, that's just, just, just the starter set. We'll get into what actually is in the main set, and they are all going to be a little bit different, but there you go. That's the back of the skull's card, 50 points. All right. President Osborne is next. Again, you're looking at versions of these characters that you might not have been expecting. Yes, the Green Goblin is the President of the United States. How did he get there? What does he control? Uh, well, he's got Hydra. Uh, he went after the, the world's food supply for a little bit. He put himself into power in a way that nobody could shake. Uh, there was no election. He just became President all of a sudden. Very scary, especially in these times. President Osborne, he's got Earth X, Hydra, Sinister Syndicate, and Politician Keywords. He's got a special attack power. I bioengineered the Hydra, and I can do the same for you. Adjacent friendly characters that share a keyword with President Osborne can use regeneration, but heal one less click. He's also got a special damage power, twisted leadership, exploit weakness, leadership. When President Osborne uses leadership and succeeds, you may also give an action token to an opposing character within six squares and line of fire. Boom. Flip the card over there. Take a look at his actual stats. 
Okay. We've got two more. We've got uh, Black Panther and Spider-Man. We'll go with Dad Spider-Man first. Dad bod Spider-Man. <laughs> got Earth X, Spider-Man, Family, Police, and Reporter keywords. Uh, why don't you all just leave me alone is one of the names of his power, and that's exactly what he wants to be in this universe. He wants to be left alone until he gets drawn in because his, his daughter gets into some trouble and the skull takes the fight to him in New York. Um, there you go. His power is on the back. 50 or 25 point split dial. Pretty good for a starter pack character there. And then we've got the last one, Black Panther, who in Earth-X is married to Storm, uh, sitting in his throne in Wakanda. You know, there's a lot of thought by Reed Richards in Earth-X that uh, what caused every single human gain powers was his fault using uh, some things that he had built to kind of spread vibranium to the world to use uh, it, uh, you know, to power everything. And it ends up that he thinks incorrectly that the vibranium is the cause of everyone gaining their powers, and you find out what it is. And it's much more sinister later on in Earth-X. Uh, but Black Panther figures very, very quickly into the entire fabric of the story. He's got Earth-X, Wakanda, animal, ruler. He's got a trait, Wakanda is a refuge, leadership, stealth. He's got power, generate an Animen bystander, max of two. If Black Panther started the game on his red starting line, the max for this effect is three instead. So he's got also split clicks. You see the bystander at the bottom there, and then you've got all of his powers on the back. So, woo, there we go. If you guys aren't familiar with these unboxing series, usually what happens is, is I get the brick, I open the brick, I open two boosters on day one, and then we open two boosters every day, then on out, and you watch this series from Monday through Friday. This one, as you can already tell, is going to be much different. They sent me a starter pack, which was already very, very cool. I'm very excited about the figures that we already pulled. And then... We're still going to open two more boosters today, so this video is going to be a little long. I apologize for that. And then at the end of the week, we have a super special video that's going to be separate from uh, the five unboxing videos where we're going to have Jim Kruger himself, uh, <laughs> one of the masterminds behind this entire brilliant saga, here to talk about not only EarthX but also Heroclix and seeing things that he created transformed into a game and seeing how it all translates and, and how it all works and, and just kind of picking his brain as to this whole process. So you guys got to tune back in on Friday for that. All right, moving right along. Let's see. We're going to open these tokens here. The tokens are rad. They're really cool. Um, looks like we're going to have some bystander tokens on, on the flip side. They're, so they're not just going to be for marking your figures while you're playing the game, you're actually going to be use these uh, as the bystanders as well. Uh, I see Sting here, who is one of the Iron Avengers, uh, one of the creations of Tony Stark. Now, in Earth X, Tony Stark is one of the only humans who is not uh, has super. He does not have superpowers. He's walled himself off in this almost like incubation chamber where he is completely safe from the outside uh, world. So he has not uh, been affected by whatever else has affected the rest of humanity. He's like the last human. Um, <laughs> but we'll take a look at these uh, tokens real fast. But he created the Iron Avengers. Like I said, that's Daredevil. And on the back side, we have... What is that? Whoa. Cannot... Tank. Oh, yeah, one of the Iron Avengers. There you go. Tank. Then you've got uh, the Crimson Sage, who is the Scarlet Witch version of the Iron Avengers. And on the back side of that, you've got Spider-Man, Dad Spider-Man. Uh, you've got Monolith. On the back side of Monolith, if you're not using Iron Man, I'm assuming you need to have Iron Man to use, or Tony Stark to use those. You've got Venom. Let's see the back side here. You've got Steelbow. Oh no, it's a bystander. Oh, I was hoping Steelbow would get a figure. Uh, on the back side of that, that's X-51. That's Robot Man. Oh, yeah. That is uh, that is a character that is dealing with Uwatu. The story is kind of told through X-51's eyes. Uwatu has gone blind, and X-51 uh, is kind of telling you the entire tale of humanity, how we got to this point. You've got another Iron Avenger on the back. That's Bolt. That's the Quicksilver version of uh, Iron Avenger there. And then, last but not least, you've got Sting, which is the Wasp. Monolith, by the way, was uh, Hank Pym, and you know this is Janet here. Um, Iron Man created them, and that's the skull on the back. So 
those are the tokens. The token set is really, really cool. I'm, I'm always so excited when I get brand new tokens. Uh, it's just such a great way to mark. I used to use beads all the time, like these little uh, fish tank beads to mark my characters. Now that I have proper tokens, uh, it's, it's just a treat. Last but not least, we have the dice. And that is uh, the outline of Captain America there for the six. These are really cool. Opaque. I wasn't sure if they were a little translucent or not, but they are definitely opaque uh, here. So, all right. There we go. The dice and tokens pack. The starter pack. And now we can get into the actual Earth X set. Like I said earlier, I don't know what we're going to have in here. Uh, we started out... You start out the story with Machine Man, Aaron Stack, waking up, being drawn into a doorway, and having his body ripped from him and becoming X-51. Now, he's, this happens to him by Uatu, the Watcher, who we all know and love. Or, you know, not in this story, but usually we love Uatu. We find out that he's gone blind. He needs new eyes. He needs to see the world <clears throat> through somebody else's eyes, and he sees them through X-51. And there, Uatu tells X-51 the tale of, from the very beginning of humanity. And then X-51 starts to fill Uatu in on what has happened in the past however many years that Uatu has been blind. Everybody got powers, who still exists, who has died, who stuck around. And like I said, it's a massive universal tale. You've got the Kree, you've got the Celestials, you've got the Eternals, you've got the Deviants, you've got our normal heroes who are much, much, much different now. So we could really have anything in here. I can't wait. It is like Christmas morning, even though it's January. Let's do it. All right. I always start in the back right. Okay. Never know what you're going to get. Usually I get a, you know, super rare or a prime or, you know, hopefully a chase. Uh, oh, on the back of the box, by the way, there's this uh, Venom verse. We are Venom. Looks like characters from the Venom verse. And, uh, Looks like those might be the chases. Uh, as of late, uh, Wizkids has been kind of telling you what they're going to have uh, on the back of the box, the chases. So it looks like we're going to get some really cool versions of Venom to be chases in this set. And uh, let's see what we have here. I am so happy that I, you guys are here watching. I'm so happy to Wizkids, uh, thankful to Wizkids and thankful to Hyper RPG for having me in their studios and allowing me to do this here. Uh, but to share a lot of really cool sneak peeks of what this set is going to entail. Ooh, and right off the bat, pull these guys back. We've got a different version of one of the guys we pulled in the starter. We've got Spider Dad in the middle there. It looks like we've got a, uh, a Red Union Jack. That's one of King Britain's soldiers that he creates uh, to protect the realm. Uh, we have Black Bolt here, King of the Inhumans. And then we have a Prime. Right off the bat, we have Venom. So I'm guessing uh, Spider-Girl Venom variant there. Uh, Venom is a very important character in Earth-X. It's Peter Parker's daughter. She has taken the symbiote onto herself, and she has learned how to really coexist with it. Uh, it does not run her. She runs it. It's very, very cool. All right, I'm going to crack these guys out of here. I'll set them there so we can kind of take peeks back at them. Uh, when we need to, and then we'll get into the cards. Now, since we have a different setup today, I'm not going to read every power from every character. I'm just going to kind of put them under this really cool close-up camera that we have here, all this uh, new technology we have. It's uh, going to utilize it as much as we can. Um, but we're going to see what everybody does. I'm guessing that Red Union Jack is a generic which I always love getting new generics. And I think there were Blue Union Jacks as well in his uh, little royal robot army, King Britain there. So hopefully we'll have uh, another uh, generic that's a, a Blue Union Jack that could be very cool. But we'll start with that generic first. Let's see what we got here. You can see the set number there, set number 12. Earth X, Excalibur, and Soldier are the key words. He's got a trait, Stiff Upper Lip. When Red Union Jack is damaged by an opponent's attack after resolutions, remove an action token from him. Ooh. I'm guessing King Britain's probably going to have that too. Also has a special attack power, Dragonfire, Incendiary Grenade Launcher. Energy Explosion. When Red Union Jack uses it, damage dealt to each target is increased by one. Boom. There you go. There are his stats on the back there. That is a pretty awesome generic 
uh, pulling tokens, uh, has a two damage uh, energy explosion. That's that's pretty rad. That's going to be tough to get around. Uh, we're going to go right into King Britain then. See what he has. Earth X, Excalibur, Mystical Ruler, set number 31. Stiff upper lip when King Britain is damaged by an opponent's attack. Res after resolutions, remove an action token. Exactly like the Red Union Jack. I was correct. We have a uh, special defense power where he has Indomitable, leading from the front, impervious, if King Britain is the only friendly character closest to an opponent's starting area. Friendlier characters modify their defenses by plus one. So you always got to keep him in the very front. It's going to be a very uh, strategic piece. You got King of the British Isles, a special damage power leadership, but may choose two characters instead of one. Flip over, look at the back here. That is a beefy dial. 120 points. Uh, seemed like a lot of the other characters so far have been pretty light in the point department and he's also a mystic wow yeah he's gonna be he's gonna be a linchpin in some of the seals i think that uh that's a pretty powerful piece i'm a big fan of king britain there all right moving right along we're gonna get into the king of the inhumans black bolt a lot of words on that card folks uh earth x inhumans ruler set number 47 he's got a trait terrigen terrigenesis twice when a friendly character targets Black Bolt with Perplex after resolutions, roll a d6. If the result is less than Black Bolt's click number, modify the chosen value an additional plus one. I'm guessing all the humans are going to share that. Another trait, only one man could move that quietly. When Black Bolt has no action tokens, lines of fire drawn to him are blocked. It doesn't say in hindering or anything. It just says that lines of fire to him are blocked. I don't know how you get around that. That is a nasty trait. Wound, uh, wound with a whisper, shatter with a scream, pulse wave. When Black Bolt uses it, he can use improved targeting and ignore blocking terrain, and you may instead choose a number from 1 through 5 to be the range value for pulse wave. You don't have, ha have to have it and can't modify it. After resolutions, destroy all blocking terrain within that use of pulse wave is range wow yeah that is he's gonna flatten earth he's just gonna flatten earth all the way around him we've seen that in the comics before we see it in this series as well and uh look at the back there he's got 150 or 100 split dial yeah he's nasty and hypersonic oh my gosh they gave him hypersonic never mind king britain you will not be a go-to piece black bolt will be a go-to piece in sealed uh spider dad we'll see how he's different from the starter pack Set number 15, Earth X, Spider-Man family, police and reporter. Everyone has a power, so my only responsibility is to my daughter. That's exactly what I said earlier. Every human has powers now in this new world, and Peter Parker is very disenchanted with the whole idea of being a hero. Uh, you know, great power, great responsibility and all that loses its luster when everybody has great power. Uh, everyone has power, so my only responsibility is to my daughter. Leap climb when Spider-Man moves after resolutions. You may choose a friendly standard character occupying a square adjacent to the one that moved through. If you do, place that character adjacent and can't be given a costed action this turn. Ooh, that's pretty cool, actually. So if you've moved somebody out, they've had an action already, they've put themselves in danger, you can go ahead and kind of pick them up, uh, a drive-by passenger, if you will. He'll come and grab you and then pull you back to safety. That's pretty cool. He's got two team abilities, police and spider family. Uh, wow, that uh, that's actually a really, really cool piece. The swing on that piece is only eight, but he'll be able to come out and maybe pull some of your heavy hitters back or get them behind some type of protection uh, maybe after they have performed an action. It says they, have, they cannot be given a costed action afterwards, but it doesn't say they can't have it happen before. So he's really going to pull you out of the fray. And he also has some support. So a different Spider-Man than we have ever seen in Heroclix. That's awesome. Now to the Prime. Prime Venom. Uh, she looks rad. Earth-X, Spider-Man family, monster, police. She's 1B. So I'm guessing that uh, Spider-Girl is going to be uh, 1A. You've got the alien symbiote trait, plasticity, shape change. Venom automatically breaks away. Special attack power and total control of the symbiote incapacitate when Venom uses it after resolutions. Give an action token to each other opposing character within two squares and line of fire of the hit target. Ooh, yeah, that is, uh, that's nasty. She's going to lock down a lot of teams. 
She has a special defense power. Murdoch's training lets me find you. Super senses. Venom and adjacent friendly characters can use improved targeting, ignoring hindering terrain. She also has improved movement. She's all over the map. She can see you. She can move pretty much anywhere. She is unimpeded. She's got an 11 attack value at the top of her dial with charge and super senses and an 18 defense with indomitable and all of that for only 70 points. Yes, the uber powered primes are back, folks. And uh, and this one in particular is uh, is really, really cool. Take a look at her <clears throat> for a second here. I love this version of Venom. She just looks so different from any other version. Um, she's got all of the tendrils just kind of floating around her. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I dropped a figure, and uh, and you took a, a very loud sound in the ear. We are doing this for the first time in this new studio. I don't know if I told you that. Hyper RPG Studios is new and brand new and coming to you from Studio City. And uh, I'm learning <laughs> I'm learning how to work here just as uh, uh, working out the kinks on this unboxing series. Sorry about that, guys. All right. But Venom, she just looks so cool in the comics, and they were able to do that in the sculpt here. So that is awesome. All right. Let's see. Next booster, and then we'll be, we will be done with Monday's opening, day one. And then uh, the rest of the week will be a little bit uh, shorter videos. So, again, apologies for the long format today, but we just had a ton to get through. All right, let's see who is in booster number two today. Looks like we have, oh, who is that? Montana. Oh, wow, from the, uh, the Enforcers. Uh, there is the President Goblin that we have in the main set. I know that we... Looked at the starter version, uh, but we'll see how this one differs from the starter version. We have Electro, and that doesn't look like a normal Electro. That looks like uh, Francine Fry. We've got Spider's Man, the enigmatic Spider's Man. So another character from this from the starter set. We'll see how they differ in the main set. And then it looks like we've got Morbius there. Uh, so sticking with that Spider-Man sub theme, uh, not necessarily uh, in Earth X. These are we've also got a lot of Spider-Man. Looks like Spider-Man villains. Uh, and the enforcers in Earth X are, are President uh, Goblin's bodyguards, but also, of course, old school Spider-Man villains. They've been around a very long time, working with a lot of different crime bosses and a lot of different, uh, you know, eras of the Marvel comics. There, but yeah, they are definitely old school. I think Ox, Fancy Dan, uh, those guys. So we can expect to probably see those guys as well in this set so cool to see francine fry i don't think we've ever seen her before in hero clicks form and i can't wait to see how they do this spider's man thing there's some like really cool scenes in earth x where people are like hey what were you before this and he's just like i was nothing like you don't quite know like what the hell spider's man is until uh later in the story uh the other cool thing about earth x is you know you've got all these amazing panels. I already talked about Venom, how cool Venom looks and the art style throughout the entirety of the of the run of the issues. But you've also got these text blocks at the end of every issue that are these conversations between X-51 and Uatu kind of talking about heroes who aren't necessarily in the stories themselves. I hope some of those heroes actually make it into the set as well. You know, for me, I'm a huge X-Men fan. So there's one particular issue where X-51 asks Uatu, what of the X-Men? And he kind of explains to, uh, to X-51, you know, what happened, or uh, X-51 is explaining to Uatu, like, what happened to some of the X-Men. Iceman, for example, uh, ends up not being able to move back into his human form. He will melt, much like Frosty the Snowman, if he doesn't uh, stay somewhere cold. So he moves to the North Pole and ends up, like, living this exiled life. Uh, I would love to see like this very unique version of Iceman in Heroclix form because we've had so many versions of these characters up to this point over the last 20 years of Heroclix that any new angle or any new bent that we can have for some of our favorite characters would be pretty cool to see. All right, uh, we're going to move through these guys pretty quickly. We're going to start with Montana here. He has Earth X, Enforcers, Magia, and Politician. He's set number 42. New boss every week as a trait at the beginning of the game. Choose a friendly character that can use leadership or mastermind and a keyword that character has. Montana gains that keyword. This does not affect themed teams. See another trait, ride em, cowboy. When an opposing character moves through a square adjacent to Montana after resolutions, you may place a Montana adjacent to that character. And a special attack power, trust up like a turkey on Thanksgiving. 
Incapacitate when Montana uses it and hits. After resolutions, you may choose one. Place a hit character adjacent to Montana or hit character gains immobile until your next turn. So uh, Montana, as you can see on his figure, uh, is very much about lasso play. I think there is, it was a lasso or a whip he used in uh, different incarnations. Uh, there is his card on the back there. So all his powers are using that lasso-like effect. Pull you to him, make you immobile, tie you up. That's awesome how they did that. All right, we're going to move on to uh, Spider's Man, the enigmatic one. Uh, let's see. Earth X, Animal, Monster, the Webs of Illusion. When Spider's Man hits with a range attack after resolutions, give each hit target an illusion token. Characters with illusion tokens can't be given free actions. Nice. It's a counter to uh, wit and probability control, all of those things. At the beginning of your turn, remove illusion tokens. Let's see how many people he can hit with illusion tokens at once. Looks like he's got two targets there with a 10 attack and a four range. So he's got to get up close, uh, just like he had to do in the books. In the books, there's one memorable scene where he does it to uh, Captain America uh, when Captain America goes west to try and start stop the skull before... Uh, the Skull's army grows anymore, and Spider-Man hits him, and, and he sees just some of the worst nightmares that you could you could ever imagine. Uh, let's move on to Morbius. Keeping with that Spider-Man sub-theme, we've got Legion of Monsters, Midnight Suns, Monster and Scientist, set number four. Trait, Vampire Hunger. We've seen this before. Morbius starts the game on click number three, Steel Energy. When he uses it, he may heal past his starting line. So he's got a wild dial. He's got a special movement power, transvection, charge, sidestep, and stealth. On the back, you can see his stats. Pretty nice there. He's healing up to gain that special power. So you get to start on that third line and then hopefully uh, get a couple of hits to get uh, uber powered up to that 19 defense. Uh, we'll move into Electro uh, next. Francine Fry. Sinister Six United, stealth, but only if your force has three or more characters. You gain then improved movement hindering terrain, but only if your force has five or more characters. And then you modify all combat values by plus one, but only if your force has exactly six characters. So I'm guessing we're going to see this on a lot of Sinister Six in this set, which makes me very excited to get more Sinister Six characters into the Heroclix world is awesome. I'm hoping we see my boy the Rhino in this thing as well then. Let's do this. Energy Explosion. When Electro uses it, she deals penetrating damage. Uh, this is after she, of course, has uh, given the death kiss to Max Dillon and stolen his powers. Uh, pretty good stats on the back. And imagine if you have a Sinister Six team with six figures on it, all of those stats get a pump by plus one. So she'll start with a nine movement running shot and 11 special power, uh, special attack power there. And 18 with energy shield deflection on that starting click. So that is pretty nasty. She's got the uh, Sinister Syndicate team ability. President Osborne last but not least. We're going to see how he is different here. And like I said, uh, he has the Enforcer's keywords, so the Enforcer's being his bodyguards in Earth-X uh, has been paid attention to by Hero Clicks. Uh, Earth-X, Enforcer's, Hydra, Sinister Syndicate, Politician, 29 is the set number. Trait, you are my bodyguard and I pay cash at the beginning of the game. Choose another friendly character that is 75 points or less and has the Sinister Syndicate keyword to become President Osborne's bodyguard. If President Osborne's bodyguard is within four squares, they have free choose two different combat values and modify both by plus one until your next turn also has new york crime boss this looks like it could be a shared trait as well leadership mastermind when president osborne uses leadership and succeeds instead of removing an action token you may generate two hired flunky bystanders the hired flunky i'm guessing are inside here they've got their own trait on the back you can see his stats, not overwhelming, but with all that masterminding ability. And there's the new uh, Underworld uh, looking team ability marker that looks like brass knuckles there. So he's 50 points. All right. Woo, man, that was a heck of a day one. Uh, we saw a prime already. I'm still on my streak of opening the proper side of the brick to get something special on day one. Uh, we got that Venom Prime, and she is a beauty, and she is uber-powered, too. So very excited to uh, to play her in that little 70-point package. Well, folks, that is it for day one of Earth-X Marvel Hero Clicks unboxing series. 
Uh, we've opened two boosters. We opened a starter set. And uh, I am so stoked to see what this particular set uh, has in it. Uh, Pre-releases will begin in January. The actual set release will happen in February. So call your local comic book stores or your local gaming stores and uh, order a brick, order a case, order two cases. I know I'm going to be getting a bunch of this, probably two cases for me, because the storyline is amazing. The versions of these characters are already showing themselves to be very unique in the Hero Clicks world. I want to say thank you to WizKids for sending this to me. I want to say thank you to you guys for watching. I want to say thank you to Hyper RPG Studios for allowing me to shoot in their brand new digs in Studio City. They have an awesome channel that deals with video games and tabletop games and movies and cinema and everything nerdy. So tune into them on Twitch. Hyper RPG. Thank you guys so much. I can't wait to see you on day two. And until I do, may all your roles be critical hits.